Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. Friends, I am Bhavali Desai. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the syllabus of paper 1 for Tamil Nadu set 2021. Uh, friends, uh, as you all know, the Tamil Nadu set notification has been released. In our previous video, I provided you details about how to fill the application form, then what is the last date. I think uh, July 7 is the last date to apply for Tamil Nadu set. Yes, uh, this uh, Tamil Nadu set is conducted by Annamala University. Uh, yes, uh, I hope you all have applied for it. And uh, if you are preparing for Tamil Nadu set, then uh, you can subscribe to Global Online University. Uh, here you can uh, join through Global Online University app and also in our WhatsApp group. We are going to introduce a new batch. In this new batch for Tamil Nadu state set examination here we have introduced a crash course and in this crash course we are providing you 40 mock tests for paper 1 preparation yes and uh, all these 40 tests are very helpful to your paper 1 preparation here 40 test means nearly you will be prepared for 2000 mcqs and also with this we are providing you 1000 mcqs pdf it means on each unit we are going to provide you 100 mcqs then friends after all these 40 tests yes after attending the test you will come to know your score then after that we are also providing pre pdf solutions with answers and explanation for all the 40 tests then also we are providing notes on each unit for uh, paper 1 and also friends one more important thing we are going to analyze previous year question papers of Tamil Nadu set 3 to 5 years uh, 3 to 5 years previous question papers we will analyze in detail and if it is possible we will uh, we'll uh, we'll analyze more question papers also and this crash course is available only at Rs 999 friends uh, I think this is minimum am amount yes. Uh, okay, if you want to join for this crash course, you can contact these numbers. The numbers are displayed on your screen. Yes, you can just send a WhatsApp message to this number. We will respond to you. Or yes, you can also call and ask the information to this number. Yes, friends, this is about our crash course. And then now let us move to the syllabus. And friends, please remember Tamil Nadu State Set Paper 1 syllabus and uh, UGC NET syllabus both are same yes i this you know i think tn set uh, paper one syllabus and uh, ugc net paper one syllabus both are same okay so as you all know paper one will be having 50 questions for 100 marks yes 50 questions for 100 marks and uh, the paper one in syllabus is uh, divided into 10 units yes from each unit we are going to get how many questions from each unit, uh, unit you will get 5 questions. Ok, so let us discuss about the paper 1, uh, general paper on teaching and research aptitude. Yes, this paragraph you can read, it is helpful. The main objective is to, uh, the main objective of conducting paper 1 is to assess the teaching and research capability of the candidates. Yes, the test main aim is uh, here to assess the teaching and research aptitude as well as candidates are expected to possess and exhibit cognitive, cognitive skills which include comprehension, analysis, evaluation and all. And the candidates are also expected to have a general awareness about the teaching and learning process in uh, higher education system. Yes, further they should be aware of interaction between people, environment, natural resources and their impact. Okay, for all these purpose paper one is to be conducted. So, without wasting much time, let us move to the uh, let us move to the syllabus here. Yes, in uh, in uh, T N set in Tamil Nadu set, the first unit is related to teaching aptitude. Yes, here we are going to study about here the first module is uh, first sub unit is teaching. In this unit, we we have to study about concept of the teaching. Yes, there are various philosophies are there, then you have to go through the objectives of the period teaching, then levels of teaching. A fixed question will be there on this unit, I think. Uh, there are three levels are there, such as memory unit of teaching, understanding level of teaching, reflective level of teaching. One question is compulsory here. And next, you have to study about the characteristics and basic requirements of teaching. And here you will study about the relationship between teacher and students. Yes, then coming to the learner's characteristics, here we will study about the uh, 
characteristics of adolescent learner and adult learner then you will study you have to go through the individual differences then factors affecting teaching related to here also you will get one question this is also very important topic here you will study about the, the factors which are going to affect the teaching the such as teacher learner then uh, tlm teaching learning sub materials then you know other uh, institutional facilities learning environment institution you will study about the various factors which are going to affect teaching then the next one is uh, methods of teaching as yes, there are various methods are there teacher centered method learner centered method and then uh, content centered method as yes, offline teaching online teaching then there are various online platforms are there swayam swayam prabha moocs mooc stands for massive open online course one uh, this question has also arisen okay the expansion of mooc and in this way this is this is related to paper 1 and also here you will study about teaching support system yes there are traditional modern and ict based teaching system then here it includes evaluation system yes evaluation is necessary after the teaching in evaluation there are some elements are there various types of evaluation are there i think on, on types of evaluation also you will get one question for summative evaluation formative evaluation then uh, credit based evaluation there are various types are there then evaluation in choice based credit system in higher education computer based evaluation innovations in evaluation system yes this is about unit 1 that is teaching aptitude yes friends then let us move to the unit 2 unit 2 is related to research aptitude yes this is also very important units here also you'll get on each unit you'll get five questions only there is no differentiate between the units and in here is in research you will study about the meaning of the research types of the research i think on types of the research one question is compulsory yes because very important topic there are various types are there then characteristics positivism and post positivism approach in uh, research then methods of research there are various methods are there experimental research descriptive research historical qualitative quantitative research here also one question is uh, compulsory then there are various steps are there then thesis writing and article writing format styles of referencing application of ict in research here also one question is compulsory then research ethics yes this is about you need to research aptitude then uh, unit 3 is related to comprehension means here they will give you a passage and based on passage they will give you five questions yes there are a passage of text be given questions be asked from the passage to be answered yes they will go, they are going to give you one paragraph one big paragraph they will give based on paragraph they will give you five questions you have to read the paragraph carefully and you have to answer all the five question yes here you should not lose the marks you you should have patience to read the paragraph and all okay so let us move to the unit 4 is related to communication this is very small unit but very uh, here also you are going to get five questions communication here you, you have to go through the meaning of communication types of communication there are various types are there interpersonal communication intrapersonal communication mass communication such as various other types are there then you will go through the characteristics of communication then you have to study about effective communication verbal communication non verbal communication intercultural communication group communication classroom communication this unit is also very important classroom communication and this unit is very interesting also then there are various barriers are there for effective communication then the, at the end you have to study about mass media communication and the society this is about unit 4 then let us move to the unit 5 yes unit 5 is it is related to practical subject that is mathematical reasoning and aptitude here you will study you will study various types of reasoning it includes number series yes or number series letter series codes relationships yes they will give you okay some number they will give give you you have to find the missing number you have to find the missing letter coding decoding then this unit is uh, also easy and the uh, next mathematical aptitude here some some will feel difficult uh, here you have to study about fractions time and distance 
ratio, proportion and percentage, profit and loss problems, interest and discounting problems, average problems. Yes, this is about uh, unit 5 mathematical reasoning. Then the unit uh, 6 is logical reasoning. Yes, logical reasoning. Here, uh, understanding the structure of arguments. Yes, here we are going to study the types of argument, forms of argument, structure, mood, figure, formal and informal fallacies. Yes, use the use, uses of language, connotations, denotations of terms. Then square of opposition. 100% one fixed question will be there and is on square of opposition. Yes. Uh, you may find difficult, but it is if you understand that the, the square of opposition, you no, know, it is very easy. Just uh, like this on diagram will come, it is very easy. In our upcoming video, I will teach, I will uh, give information on this square of opposition also. Then evaluating and distinguishing deductive and inductive reasoning. This is also very important. Then analogies, when diagrams are there. Then Indian logic. Near this, okay, here also this is Indian logic is uh, recently. Uh, included in the syllabus very important it is indian logic pramanas there are pratyaksha is that means means of knowledge pramanas pratyaksha anuma pratyaksha perception anumana means inference then upamana upamana means comparison shabda means verbal testimony arthapatti implication anupalabdi means non apprehension is yes, very important unit and structure of kinds of anumana uh, such as inference, invariable relation, Hethbawas. Yes, this is uh, this unit is about logical reasoning. Many to, uh, candidates will feel difficult in mathematical reasoning and logical reasoning, and some will also feel difficult in data interpretation. Yes, in data interpretation, no need to worry. If you solve uh, ten, uh, if you solve fifteen to twenty problems, then you will understand it very clearly. Then it will be very easy. Yes, uh, unit 7 is related to data interpretation. Here sources, acquisition and classification of data. No theory questions will be asked here directly. Uh, bar chart, uh, histogram, pie chart, table chart, line chart, mapping the data. Yes, they will give you one. Uh, yes, they will give you one one diagram or table chart or pie chart, whatever it is. Based on that chart, they will ask you five questions. Then unit 8 is related to ICT, Information and Communication Technology. Yes, here ICT, General Abbreviations and Terminology. Then Basics of Internet, Intranet, Email, Audio and Video Conferencing, Digital Initiatives in Higher Education, ICT and Governance. Yes, this is about unit 8. Then unit 9 is related to People, Development and Environment. Uh, little bit bigger. Big unit it is. You have to go through the lot of information in this unit. Development and environment, millennium development goals and sustainable development goals. Very important question. Human and uh, environment interaction. Yes, uh, human activities on the environment. Then environmental issues uh, then, uh, at local level, at regional level and also at global level. Then uh, air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution. Yes. And then climate change, socio-economic political dimensions, then impact of pollutants on human health, natural and energy resources such as solar, wind, soil, hydro, geothermal, biomass, nuclear and forest, then natural hazards and disasters, Environmental Protection Act 1986, National Action Plan on Climate Change, NAPCC, then international agreements such as Montreal Protocol, Rio Summit, Convention on Biodiversity, Kyoto Protocol, Paris Agreement. Yes, these are the important units you have to study in people and environment. Then last unit is related to higher education system. Yes, here you will study about institutions of higher learning and education in ancient India, evolution of higher learning and research in post-independence India, Oriental, conventional, non-conventional learning programs in India, professional, technical and skill-based education, yes, value education, yes, uh, environmental education, yes, then policies, government and administration, yes, these, uh, these units are from unit 10 higher education, yes, and note there, 
yes i you all know it but let me read five questions on cash care each carrying two marks are to be set from each unit yes i told you from all the 10 units you will be having five questions for two marks total number of questions are 50 okay friends uh, this is about this lab as for uh, Tamil Nadu set TN set paper 1 okay friends i wish all the best to for either i wish all the best to all who are preparing for tn set and friends uh, uh, for paper one preparation you can join our crash course our crash course is uh, very helpful for your paper one preparation yes if you join our crash course here you can focus on paper one and uh, for paper you will get uh, you more time to focus on paper two yes uh, if you get more marks in paper 1, then it is very easy to qualify TN set. Okay, I hope you will join our crash course. And for any information, if you have any confusion, you can contact me. The number will be 9743105335. Okay, if you are if you are having any confusion, if you want to ask anything about paper one, you can ask.